Chris. Looks like we got people all around the country. If you want to uh, kick us off. Yeah, it'd be a good mix. I don't have much of housekeeping. I did want to say this before we get knee deep and forget. Um, we've got the, the live event coming up, as everybody knows. I hope you know. And if you don't, we're live for the first time since 19. Pretty cool. This September, 14, 15. The, um, with, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you one segment we're going to talk about there in two days. It's going to be a whole bunch. But one of the things we're going to dive into and rip apart is how you guys can buy houses for free with, you know, in the range of 2.8% to 4.5% interest rates existing on them. Uh, when you see rates now creeping up past six, that's a, there's a gold mine there. There's a whole bunch of properties, sadly, that people can't keep. Um, Rick, in fact, the deal we're doing is a prime example of that. I just realized that what we're going to do with Rick here is someone that has a lot of equity, but sadly, we'll lose the house if we don't do a deal with them. Because for the last nine or 10 years, you had a nice run up. Interest rates were great. And now they hit the skids post COVID, whatever the reason is. Um, so that's why I said Sally, but gladly we can help them. We can be the guide. So we're going to go over that. But you want to be at the event, guys. So I'm going to, uh, someone could type this in the chat. The link for a highly discounted ticket for tonight's group here is 80% off. We're going to give you guys. I want you guys there to hear, if nothing else, hear how to get free houses in the 3% range for interest rates. It's smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash live 20, $20 ticket. There shouldn't be any of you that don't sign up for that. It's right here in Rhode Island. I want to meet you in person. You guys are going to love it. You consider it time well spent. I promise, promise, promise you that. All right. Um, Zach, if you want to scribe, unless you get something to add to that, um, well, let's jump into Rick's deal. And then as promised, we'll not just do live coaching there, but we want to get your topics and live coach. If someone wants to be so brave as to raise your hand after you do this deal and let us know what your blockages might be. Uh, Nick and I and Zach, Russ, we've got some coaches on here. We're live coached for you. Uh, totally free. We're here for you for the next 50 minutes. All right? Yeah, I love it. All right. And, uh, if, if you could throughout the process, uh, if you have comments or takeaways, I has, type them in the chat. If you have questions, what we'll do is after we go through Rick's deal, then we'll open up for questions specific to the deal. We'll hit those questions. Then we'll come back to open dialogue. Uh, so that way we can stay on track, that way we can hammer through the deal, that way we can uh, really uh, uncover the nuances and everything that's happening with this deal so everyone gets a full perspective here. Hey, Zach, while you're pulling that up, I just heard Rick, I was critiquing one of Rick's calls, and Rick, nice job. I heard him use Safria as a, uh, as a script to the seller who said he's been getting calls from other investors. It was beautifully placed in the in the call could you tell these guys what that is because we have the only course that will provide accreditation and rick used that in the call it was absolutely beautiful like rick i i had a smile i stopped critiquing after that thank you <laughs> so zach i thought you might want to just tell these guys how to because we're the only course literally on the planet you can get that yep uh, so what Safria is as i'm writing it out is the creative financing real estate association and you are going to get a accreditation or a certification by simply taking our course. Once you get that certification, you then can place on your websites, uh, have a conversations with your uh, sellers and your buyers. Well, well, that's provided they pass. It's, well, it's yeah. a very detailed examination after, and you have to make sure you pay attention and you pass. Yep, that's good. Great point, Nick. Um, because what we really wanted to do is, uh, and we've been saying this since day one when Chris originally created the course, which is if you go through the course and you're going to know more than 95% of people out there when it comes to creative financing real estate deals. So we wanted to be able to give you something that you can now utilize for credibility. And so that way you can help more buyers, help more sellers. Because um, simply sometimes the credibility is really what stops us in our tracks because we sit there and say, you know, what do I know? And, and the reality is, you know, a heck of a lot more. It could service a lot of people um, if you if you go through the course. And then secondly, before it, was, it looks like Chris wants to say something as well, those that end up joining our associate program, coaching programs, they then become accredited um, through our course as well because we can consistently work with them and control the process more so we know that they're accredited and are constantly running their business and systems to the highest degree. 
Yeah, what I want to say, Zach, is um, it was so great when Rick used it. And, and I'm not just saying because he's on, because the guy was kind of, um, I wrote in my critique of the call. And if you're new to this, we critique associates' calls and we help them get better. And I, the guy was asking him questions that screamed that he wasn't fully confident. Well, what about this? What about that? What if you default? And then he said he got other calls. And as soon as Rick said very inquisitively, yeah, but are the others accredited? The guy was clueless. And he, they got off that right away. Rick, did you, did you feel a change in the conversation? The credibility went right up to the roof. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was Definitely. awesome. So good job. All right. Um, Zach, I think we can jump into Mr. Rick's deal, which we've been working on for, I don't know, a few weeks, Rick. Yeah. Um, this is a sweet one. When, when Zach just said something about three paydays, you guys, if you get my emails, know we average between the students, average between 45 grand and 250 per deal. Um, this deal is one of the higher ones. So we don't show these a lot, but this is a cool deal. Rick, let's uh, go ahead and jump in. Okay. Sure. So this deal is, uh, is in Massachusetts. Rick's in um, New Hampshire. This was uh, what source? How'd you find it? Found it. Uh, it was a canceled listing. Uh, my VA call on it first and I did the follow-up. VA live call, live call follow. Okay. And then uh, what type of deal are we talking? A sub two. Sub two. Yeah. This is exactly what I was talking about, you guys, when I said to everyone, you got to be at the event because we're going to talk about how to get these deals. And I was alluding to this sub two with three and 4% interest rates that you can keep for the next 20 years. And you're going to be smiling for a long time as rates are creeping up. Okay. Uh, term on this? 72 months. 72 months. for the. Uh, let, me, let me be real clear. We don't put a term on sub twos. We're putting a term on the equity from this gentleman. And frankly, as I said earlier, he'd lose his house if we don't do something with him, in our opinion. Uh, purchase price? Uh, purchase price is $549.9. There's uh, a balance of $306.99 on the mortgage and $243.801 equity. Uh, what was the equity one more time? $243,801, which he would lose. <laughs> He's way behind. He's in forbearance. He's in forbearance. He's got all kinds of things. There's still moving parts on this, but Rick's been doing an awesome job getting it to this point. And I heard your last call with this gentleman. He is, I'll say, I mean this in the nicest way. He's eating out of your hand because you're helping him. He's, he's, he's being awesome too. How much is, uh, what is the arrears? And, um, Sixty-five, one sixty-seven. They're going to build it into a forbearance act too, so we won't go too deep on yeah, that one piece. Deep. But the guy's a mess. And suffice to say, day, they're also going through an amicable divorce too. So 67. this has all the goodies of us of why people do sub twos. Yeah, um, so I was just going to say, a lot, a lot, a lot of motivation. Yeah. And that's why it's super nice. Um, What's you got payment, payment update. So, Rick, what are we at? Like 2300 right now? We're just going to use that number for now? Yep, 2300 That's, um, yeah. And that's yeah. PIT, Isaac. Yeah. Do you have any idea how much of it is principal? Uh, yep. We figured probably around 750 I haven't seen the, the latest on the mortgage statement yet. Cool. So, you guys have kind of like the foundation. Now, let's pivot. Um, sell price. Still to be wrapped up, but sell price, um, Rick. The sell price is six oh nine nine. You talking with Nick? Uh, what was that? So you having conversations with Nick? Not yet. He'll We're spring. not there yet. Well, I, I bet you he, Nick's gonna pull out another ten. Ten grand there. Uh, just a guess. Just a it guess. might be twenty, but Rick's going to be camping out with Nick real soon. Uh, if you guys are new, Nick is the buyer specialist, and associates work with him hand in hand, especially their first few properties. Um, payday one, Mister Rick. Payday one, uh, sixty thousand nine ninety, based on ten percent down. And probably at that price range, we'll eke more out. I if I if we started eking more out of this deal now for this display, it would almost look like too good to be true. You guys are probably gonna think that as we go anyway, because it's such a sweet deal. 
payday two, two and we'll talk about go ahead zach what sorry uh just before we get into payday two what's the monthly payment that we think we can get on the open market uh it's 31.50 but the taxes are 637 on top of that okay so here's a little lesson for everyone rick and i will bring some of this today and nick will love this the market because the rates are going up the market will bear um us marketing this for 3150 plus the taxes for 637 it will bear that even though the payment that we're paying out is piti in worst case if nick and rick are marketing this and they're having trouble they're not selling it quick enough they can always back down to the 3150 and it's still awesome but we'll start at the 3150 plus the 637 for taxes which is all gravy so it's a total of uh, 3787 and this is where Zach was saying, if you guys have questions, jot these down as we go, because that's got to spark questions, I'm sure. It's a nice right. technique. So that, we'll just do spread, and then we'll, we'll, that way they can see it out. So what's the, what's the spread monthly? 1487. Oh, this is a freaking terrible deal. <laughs> uh, and then Seven. are you doing this by full term of the 72 months? Is that how you calculate it? Or what are you calculating yep. by? Full term was 107.40. This is a deal you can retire on. It, it only, yeah, I was going to say, Zach, how many, you guys, seriously, I, we get caught up in, uh, especially if you're new, you get caught up in how many can I do? How fast can I do them? If you just took your time and it took you a year to do one of these, and then you did one every six months, it, it's a game changer for you. Um, let's go to pay three and do it in order. Uh, it's actually not a calculator. Rick, so the markup, just to make it simple for everybody, was how much? 60000 Okay. And then we got principal pay down on the underlying $2,300 payment of how much we said? Uh, 750 a month for a total uh, over the term of 54,000. Rick's an engineer, Zach, so he has it all calculated. <laughs> oh, I know. It's it just nuts. <laughs> uh, That's awesome. I feel like I'm working with Donna. It's sweet. Um, and so pay, I'm sorry. So then you minus the deposit of 61 roughly. Yep. So, uh, yeah, we marked up 60. You're going to minus the 61,000 that we've already collected. You're getting 54,000 in principal pay down. So, what's the total on the back end here? Uh, the total payday three is 53,010. Okay. I'm just going to write So, what are we looking like? Total, We're over two. Total of 220.50. Top of the range, very top of the range. Disclosure, you guys that are, that are on here with us. Uh, clearly, these are not the. This is not the norm. We we are we are typically in the sixty to one ten, not too shabby. But this is a great one, and we're literally working on it as we speak. Um, Zach, I'm sure you have some questions. I just wanted Rick to share this this from an experience standpoint. Um, Rick utilizing the community and utilizing us, all of us, the family, uh, any ahas that you thought, Oh shoot, I maybe wouldn't have caught that. Or has it just been kind of like clicking along? I haven't picked your brain on this. Uh, from this deal here. Yeah. Or just, all, just, just this one, just this one. Uh, there's been a lot because sub twos are pretty complex and there's a lot of nuances, uh, especially with the forbearance and, uh, they wanted money up front. So, talking back and forth with Chris daily. Um, Chris has come up with some real great ideas to negotiate that. And it comes across as being very helpful to the seller. One, one challenge everybody's going to run into. So here's a little, here's a little uh, nugget for everybody here. And you're welcome to message me and I'll get you this guy's name. But one of the things this guy said, he said he needed money down. So Rick very cleverly and skillfully said, for what? And how much, right? Always ask that when they say they need cash. One of the things, the biggest thing he needed was 21000 for the IRS. He thought. And I said immediately, give him to our guy that solves IRS problems. He might be at QLS Live. I think he's going to come to talk to you guys. But he it's great for you. Golf course. What was that? Yeah, he right. gets up the golf course. Yeah. 
So I said, that's off the table. And I heard Rick go take that script to the guy, to the seller and said that. And the guy said, okay. So we didn't even put 21 grand in the purchase and sales agreement because we just took that off the table for you. This guy will help you solve that with a long-term payment plan. You don't need 21 grand. So that's just one little tidbit. And if you guys want that IRS, he solves IRS problems. If you want that, uh, just email me, Chris at Smart Real Estate Coach, because I used them. We only bring you guys people we've used. When I went through the crap of the crash, I used them. That's how I met him. So good, um, good, good contact for you. His name is Jerry. Just message me. Okay. The other uh, thing. Uh, the other thing. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, Rick. No, I was gonna say the one other thing I'll throw in there. Uh, he had it listed for five forty nine with a real estate agent, which meant he would have netted uh, about five twenty one, five twenty two. Um, so we're giving him five forty nine. So he knows right up front he's making twenty seven thousand dollars more than he would have netted before if he even kept the house yeah yeah uh, all right so let's let's do this guys uh guys and gals if you have a question there's this thing on the bottom of your screen it's called a reaction there's a hand raise button there so you just click that and it shoots you up to the top of the screen uh and then you can go ahead and ask your question live uh let's we'll hit those first anybody that asks their question live and then we'll go to the chat box uh, just because I'm juggling two different screens right now. So we'll do that. So again, reactions, click the hand raise button. It'll shoot you up to the top. Uh, to kick this off, just because I'm curious, uh, and then I'll jump to Tony and Jose, and that is, is the is the arrears, are they potentially working on like a loan modification with that? Or Yes. Yeah, they're, uh, the lender is considering doing a wrap and rolling it in. So that that's what brings the payment up to about 2300 and this okay. house, we should have said, Zach, is empty. They are out. And it's a nice home. I love it. Okay. Um, it reminds so, me of the one, you, Zach, that you did in the... Uh, it reminds me of the one, Zach, if I can jump in, that you did that at the Cape, that they just they were just divorcing, nothing they could do, and, and uh, you got this nice product stuck in the middle. Yep. Awesome. I just I wanted to ask because all of a sudden everyone went, oh, they're in arrears. We're going to catch up 67,000. We're making it 67,000. Yeah. Uh, instead, if you're doing the loan modification and they're rolling it in, well, now it's back to current and you don't have to come with a down payment. Just closing. Well, they already did, Rick. Didn't they already do the forbearance though? Now, in addition, ideally we're trying to get a loan mod, but the, the forbearance has already been done and placed in the back end, correct? No, he's, he's, I saw the communication with him in the lender and they are working on, he's applied for the loan mod. Okay, so there was no, what was the forbearance though? The forbearance was probably years of not making a payment and somehow they didn't, they didn't foreclose on it, so. Okay, so it's, it's probably sitting in limbo, just not, it, it's it frozen. Is. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I should make sure I was clear on that question. Okay. Internal brainstorms, which you normally get on all of our mastermind calls and or phone calls. Uh, this is what happens. <laughs> well, and I also think, not Rick, I don't want to take the wind out of the sail, but I also think if we got involved a little bit earlier, this guy wouldn't be getting all this equity. I mean, I'm glad that we're helping him, but he's getting a lot of equity for being in the shitter, you know? Right. Uh, but right. but it's still a great win-win, so you can't we can't be greedy. I have a feeling in the next upcoming years that he will take a discount on his equity if we want 100%. to feel longer. So now 100%. this becomes a $300,000, $400,000 deal. Uh, Jose, you're up. Yeah, uh, just a quick question, Rick. It looks great. And the driver, of course, then is a 72 months uh, scenario. Uh, could it be cashed out sooner? And or uh, how, how did you come up in getting him to the, that 72 month mark? Well, initially, I had we talked about term because of the equity. And I said, uh, you know, typically four, five, six years, Chris said, go with six. So as soon as I threw six out, he didn't even question it. Now he may change and want a shorter term on it, but we, the PNS was written up for 72 months. Okay. So I was trying to figure out why he, he sat on, on going 72 months. What, what would make it, what would make him go lower? His you know, wife, his wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jose, here's the logic. Yeah. Let me just throw this out and Rick can comment if his if his brain is a little on a different path there, but um 
72 months is only the equity. We, we would own the house. 72 months is on the second mortgage that the guy essentially will give him back, right? Mm -hmm. So to Zach's point, I will guarantee you in a year or two when Rick cashes out a payday three or has another payday one from another deal, he -hmm. calls this guy up and goes, hey, I know we have five years left and we owe you 220. I might come across some cash. If I do, what's the least you could take? He could probably get a 50% discount. That's what Zach was alluding to. And then we still have the house. And then we take the house with the tenant buyer if they're behaving properly and paying and we want to finance them and we have a 30 year deal or a 20 year deal. Right. This thing will go for a long time. Especially with interest rates right now, the higher those bad boys go up in a year from now, you can increase it by a couple of points and still be fine if somebody doesn't have to go get financing. And what that will say with the sub, uh, I was filling out the sub two uh, contract out uh, of the PNS and wasn't quite sure how to handle the equity. And Chris said, use the owner finance portion. So we explained that all and how that works. So it was invaluable. Yeah. You need to do, for you guys that are listening, we give you all the agreements, but frankly, you probably need to do, uh, you know, two or three of each with us. And then you got it. You do have it. That's why we set the program up to be interactive like this. Thank you. Great. You bet, Jose. I picked up something uh, and maybe next time you have a conversation, uh, instead of saying they're, they're five, six, seven years. Now we say that a typical deal like this is usually 10 or it's sometimes uh, the sellers see the benefit of going 30 years, 20, sometimes even 10. What's the least you're willing to, or what's the longest you're willing to go? On yeah, the 220 you say, I mean, on the equity, Zach. Yeah. Uh, similar, similar conversation we had with a guy in Connecticut. Remember, we have a 10 year um, where it's the equities due. Well, really, there's not too much equity in it, but that's what's due. And it remember, was, everyone, 30 years. Remember now, everyone, that 243801, no payments or interest for 72 months. We're not making payments on that. Sometimes we would have to, but this, we're not with this guy. It's not what we propose. Yeah, I will say in, in, Modifying scripts and being involved with the community, Mike McCready's used that 10 years, um, you know, is optimal um, in, an, in the longer term. I started using that and some of the buyers or some of the sellers have not even flinched. Is Mike on? I am, yes. Mike, for everyone's sake, for script, when someone says, how long do I have to wait or how, when the term comes up, can you just give these guys a hint of how you anchor the longer term? Because that's, I think, what Rick was well, one of the things he was alluding to. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just a simple response. Uh, you could say, yeah, we have several deals we've, we've done in, in uh, different, under different terms and different time lengths. Uh, we have deals that are eight, nine, 10, even 15 years uh, long um, or that go out that long. How long would you be willing to go? And then just let them talk, you know, um, stay silent. And let them think about it and give you an answer. And more times than not, it's going to be longer than what you thought it would be in, in, from the beginning. Yeah, they're almost afraid to tell you three or four when you just anchored fifteen. Yeah, yeah, you're going to end up at that five year mark, which is which is golden. Um, do we have any more questions on that deal? And then I just want to mention an AO he's doing. And then we can open up for some coaching. I think Bob Sullivan had a question about the fourteen eighty seven. Uh, difference between the sell monthly and the sub two payment. Yeah, that, that's basically what it is. Um, it's the taxes plus the payment, uh, the lease payment. And the taxes and the outgo is already built in. So that's that's Rick's buffer that when he and Nick go to market, they'll have like six or seven hundred dollars to play with if it doesn't sell at that higher price, including taxes. Yeah, so it'll range somewhere between a nine hundred dollar, probably an eight high eights to to fourteen hundred dollar monthly spread, depending mm -hmm. on what the market's bearing. Yep. I don't think Rick will cry either way. Not at all. <laughs> I would cry if I was Rick. Um, <laughs> how many of those? How do you, do you cover the sixty seven k for the arrears? It's uh, so the. the the bank is sitting on it right now and, and looking, we're looking at a loan mod. So it's going to be wrapped in, we hope, to the back end. 
I think right now that must be how they're doing it. If they're not calling the loan. It's just sitting on the back end. Like so many of these forbearances are doing. You look at the mortgage statements on these, you'll see the mortgage uh, amount and you'll see this forbearance amount just sitting there as another amount. Also those that are part of the community have the ability to, to participate with our, uh, with uh, Wicked Smart Finance, who could potentially finance this deal as well. I mean, that's a prime deal. 67000 and you get two fifty. dollars um, Sounds pretty good for investment. Um, yeah, so, so Zach, can we elaborate on that? Just if they're new, there's new people here. Um, yeah, Wicked the Smart. There's benefit uh, that the associates have. Uh, we have a sister company that can provide financing, especially for situations like this. So if you didn't have 67,000, instead of throwing this deal away and losing out on over $200,000, you then would go work with Wicked Smart Finance. Wicked Smart Finance would provide the down payment and would participate in the deal. He and he 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 is he here. He, he, he's closed the deal with us. Company. What was that, Nick? To be a cousin company. Yeah. Whatever was, you want to call it. Uh, he ends here. He's closed a deal. Robert's closed a couple deals with us in, in Wicked Smart. I'm just looking at names. Tony has a question. Sorry, Tony. I know you had your hand up before. Yeah, no worries. The original question was around the for uh, the arrears, which you addressed. But so I'm curious now about the loan mod or or what happens with the arrears. So you had a mortgage balance of 306, which I suspect, assume would include any unpaid principal that's in that arrears. Yeah. But you've got probably got other fees and things tacked onto it. So in it's potential that your that your mortgage balance could go up, right? Or no? No, it was not to exceed well for the initial PS. But the payment could, um, uh, Tony. And we have a four because we have that big spread, we're okay with it. But we made right. the PS contingent upon satisfactory review of loan mod. Satisfactory right. to who? Us. It's a major out, too, by the way. Let me paint a picture here. Let's say Nick and Rick go on the market and we totally screwed it up. I'm being facetious and we said, oh, we couldn't sell this thing. Okay. The loan mod comes back. We don't like the loan mod. It's just, it's, it's sort of a built in out. Got it. Thank you. You bet. Great question. Yeah. Uh, all right. There's got to be more questions on this deal, or maybe you just don't know what to ask and that's okay too. Uh, is the amount of arrears accruing interest over this deal as Terry? We're not, I, Rick, I don't think we're hundred percent sure until we see the, 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 uh, the bank docs, correct? Correct. Yeah. That's and why we capped the loan amount. We said not to exceed that gives us another out. Yeah. Cause he said it's not. Uh, Heidi, our favorite Floridian, what's going on? Pretty good. How are you all? Sorry, I had some computer issues, so I couldn't get on immediately. Um, so you might have addressed this in the beginning, but um, with the loan modification and putting it at the back, um, is the homeowner talking to the bank or are you talking to the bank? It, like Rick, who, who's talking to the bank to make it homeowner all Homeowner now. The homeowner now, yeah. The homeowner. Okay. So then he just kind of keeps you up to breast what's going on. and Yes. Okay. We're going to need to get in there, Heidi. Uh, the next step will be um, us getting that authorization or prior attorney and getting in there. We're right about there. Okay. So then once you have that, then you'll take over or is the homeowner still talking at that point or just you? We'd call as someone that's concerned and want to help him. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. I appreciate it. You bet. Um, I think about half the people were on when I said this earlier. So if Kristen's on or whoever's on could put this in the, in the chat, but um, grabbing these deals with, with really cool interest rates below them uh, is one of many things we're going to talk about at the event. You guys can get the event for 20 bucks tonight. Uh, smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash live 20, just so we don't miss anyone on that. Uh, September 14, 15. Uh, yep. which is a Wednesday, Thursday, and then all associates on here get associate development day for free. Um, those of you that want to participate in the associate dev day slash VIP day, uh, those tickets are an additional $14.99. Um, you, we're going to have an entire day where we're going to talk even next level um, deal structures, next level, growing your business. Uh, scaling your business uh, so we can dive in with the uh, associates that are currently doing it. So those that want to participate in the VIP day as well, 
Um, you can certainly do that, uh, but go grab your ticket for QLS Live for only you know for eighty percent off. And it's really live. We're not on Zoom. Yes, really live in Rhode Island. Uh, September is probably the best time, the best month of the year in Rhode Island. I promise you that. It's beautiful weather. Uh, you got downtown Newport, so make it a vacation for yourself. Come prepped, think this could be life changing for you. We've we've had many people say that life changing pivotal moment where you're going to leave knowing and be prepared about how to go out there and start crushing this real estate market uh, with these creative financing deals. Because every single person I speak to that's either investor, a realtor, mortgage lender, continuously says, "Hey, you guys are way ahead of the curve with this creative financing thing because." We're expecting that to be the major niche that's going to scale and grow over the foreseeable future, especially in the sub two world, especially in this owner financing world, um, because there are going to be way too many people that need our help and are looking for different structures. So, um, Heidi, so we're not. Sorry, Zach. Go ahead. No, so the, the link has been posted to us, our smart real estate coach.com slash live 20. Uh, it'll fill up fast. So, I, Get, get ahead of it before we get start bringing this to the public. And Heidi, we're not doing the live stream right now. Uh, I we before COVID, it wasn't even an issue. <clears throat> so we're just going live. Um, the the power of the live is so strong. We're gonna have our dream team there. We bring our families there. So unlike Zoom, where you're just locked into one person, you got networking going on uh, at booths and in the room. You want to chat with, you know, my wife, you want to chat with someone that's a specialist. In fact, you got it. You're, they're at your disposal. So it's, it's live. It's a different experience. We'd love everybody there. It's worth the flight just to talk with Kim. <laughs> I use that, but whoever you want to talk to. <laughs> uh, I'm going to just jump to ladies first with Laura, and then we'll come back to you, Tony, uh, on the question, just so we uh, keep it moving. Laura? Hi. Hi, Chris. I heard you, but I didn't realize I was on you. Um, can you just double confirm for me when you you say he's in arrears was like what sixty seven thousand dollars and how are you taking care of that you take it in on the back end or did you just come up and you guys as part of this deal are, are finding that money we're not paying it now um rick cap the it's it's built into what we said is owed and it's and we don't know how it's going to be treated till we go through the loan mod but right now it's part of that total, not in addition to what Zach was alluding to, Laura, is if it ever came down to push comes to shove and there's 200 grand sitting on a table for profit and we had to come up with the 67, rather than walk away, Rick would likely partner with Wicked Smart Finance then we'd just come up with a cash farm. Right. He had to. Okay, that's what I was wondering if you were finding on the other end, but okay, now I get it. Thanks. You bet. Either way is good in this deal. Option one, no money down, right? No money down. Well, just closing costs. Uh, that's the most, that's best version. Good version is that you raise a little bit of capital because you don't walk away, especially if you have uh, 50 years of experience with our entire team and it's growing inside our community. You don't walk away from a two hundred something thousand dollars deal because it's 67000 It's a good real estate deal. You know, money finds it. Uh, you'll find the money to get it done. Tony, back to you with the yellow hand. Yeah, you know, just one observation, not a question, really, just an observation. But one of the things that that came that I was thinking about as you were talking, this being a, uh, a subject two, and you're talking with the bank, and the bank's already talking about the wrap and all that. I mean, it seems to me this deal in particular has some unique features that that are that make life a little bit easier, where the bank's intimately involved in what, how the arrangement's being put together. And I think that's a huge benefit to the package because you don't have to worry about the bank taking bad action on you and all of that. And I don't know if there's something in here that we could use for scripts in the future with sellers who seem to be worried about the bank coming back on a subject too. It just occurred to me that it seems to me it's very unique in that, in that way. And I just wanted to call that out. Yeah, I mean, the seller's been working with the lender. Um, I don't know. My thought is he's probably told the lender that, you know, he was doing a subject to or working on selling the home. Um, so we'll see how that all plays out. Okay. Thanks, Rick. The, Tony, with somebody like this, though, that is in $67,000 worth of arrears, 
and has two hundred and twenty something thousand dollars to lose if we don't stretch this deal, is that's going to be the least of their worries? Is if the bank is going to come look to, in order to oh, you know, yeah, and, do and, the sales clause? Yeah, in this uh, transaction, I agree. I'm just was thinking about the broader space where we're trying to put sellers at ease about us taking a subject to and you know, whether having an example where the bank's been in very engaged in the whole process would be helpful, you know. But. Even if the bank wasn't, Tony, this is a good thing to bring up for everyone because sub two confuses people or gets them nervous. My, and we won't do a legal thing here in this, on this call, but my, my conversations with the sellers uh, are sort of along the lines of there's many ways to handle it. Don't worry about it. We've never had a loan uh, that's been called us personally. I'm not telling you guys you won't, but there's ways to title it. There's ways to retitle it. There's ways to delay it. I'm never concerned about it. And I tell the sellers, if you're concerned after you do your due diligence about us and, and our uh, accreditation, our track record, don't do it. And But the, the fact is with sub twos, most of the sub twos are talking to you about sub two because they're messed up. Unlike donor financing, they're free and clear that 100% don't have any worry. You know, they're like total opposites of the spectrum. So yeah, all good, all good conversations, but we'll help you with those as you go, as Rick's doing with us. There's also, uh, there's also insurance on these things too. Uh, there's like a whole, uh, there's a whole industry surrounding this, but some major companies that literally just do insurance on sub twos. You, you're paying for it. I think they take like a, like a 1% of the purchase price in order to insure it. But they'll ensure it to make sure that the due on sales clause, if it does get called, that they can make sure that you know you don't get affected by it. I think it's equity. I, I can't think of the exact name right now, but equity insurance, something like that. Exactly. Let's see if we. I'm just being careful of time. We got like a good ten or twelve left. Let's see if anyone has any. Uh, if we can try to get your mind out of that deal for a minute, and see if anyone has any um, block that you think you have, it might be mental, it might be financial, it might be time, it might be bigger than that, that I'm not saying, whatever it might be for you. If you, if, if you want to raise your hand, we're happy to coach you. Uh, Terrell has his hand raised. We can start there. Yeah, so um, I don't know if I have a block or um, I'm just trying to see how close I am to uh, completing this deal. It's a, a deal, um, basically the owner... Um, Gave me a counter offer of fifteen percent down for seller finance and ten percent down for per, uh, lease purchase, and um, uh, the properties uh, for the property is worth right now around nine sixty nine. That's what I I offered them about one uh, one point zero five million, and um, and I, I I told him I pretty much returned to his email back that. You know, it's going to be kind of hard for me to give him um, anything too much down with the lease purchase. But I know there's still a deal there and I know there's a lot of there's still money there. And um, and he hasn't got back to me yet. I'm kind of, and I, what I asked him at the end of the email was, can you get back to me with how much is the minimum amount that you will take monthly? Because he hasn't given me that. Yeah, I kind of just gave him one because he kept holding back on giving me that answer. And uh, so I wanted to know how many days do you think, how close do you think I am to closing this deal? And how many days do you think I have to wait before I should reach back out to the seller? A oh, couple of things. There's a lot of good stuff there. A couple of things. My opinion, I'll have Zach and the coaches and, and or Nick and j jump in here. A couple of things come to mind for me as I wrote, Terrell. First of all, does this guy own anything? You, you assume no? No, no. He, he doesn't? doesn't. He doesn't. Okay. So I wouldn't even be talking at least purchased because to your point, I wouldn't put certainly not 10 percent. maybe the most i've ever done is a little bit of moving money but um you even though you can cloud the title and somewhat secure yourself with a notice of option i wouldn't put that much money down on a lease purchase ever it's too risky and i tell him that um when was the last live conversation you've had with this guy uh since i've seen the house maybe a week ago okay so not too bad i just didn't know if it was all email which you don't want to do i just want to make sure i say that you want to make sure it's phone conversation. talking a million dollar asset so you want to be on the right. phone um, fifteen percent down. Um, I don't know. I'd ask for a phone call. Still, that's just where my head goes. You don't because you don't know the monthly yet. You don't know the term yet either, do you? Term? He said, uh, three to five years. 
okay, so I, I don't know, without, without having us on your shoulder, I'd get this guy on the phone and hone in on five. And then say, if it's five, what's the least you could take monthly? Because I am giving you your price. And I can't give you everything. This is a discussion for anyone, not just you for owner financing. Say, look, we've got some variables here. And in your case, we've got the down payment. We've got the term. We've got the price and the monthly. There's four variables. I can't uh, obviously give you all four. We got to both win here. I'm giving you your price. Hypothetically, if I gave you 15% down, what could you live with for a monthly? Because I can't give you all four variables. You just got to have an open, fair discussion. Does that make sense? Yeah. Here's, here's one other problem, Chris. He, like, after I, 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 wrote out, I wrote out the structure after he gave me the two options. And then he says, then after, after I give, give him the, tell him I'll give him the 150, he, sa- he comes back to me and says, the title won't change hands until uh, uh, he gets the total payment. So that's okay. That, that's a land to- contract or a contract for D. That's okay. That's okay that he did that. Yeah, that's a that's not a lease purchase. You go with a uh, what state are you in? Uh, New Jersey. The okay. property is in New York. Yeah, they don't call it land contract day. I fought over that recently on a deal with Morris, but we have a good good attorneys there. Um, it'd be like a land contract structure. They don't call it there in New Jersey, but contract for deed or land contract. All the difference is your accountant's going to treat it as if you own it, Terrell, but the deed's going to sit in escrow with his attorney until such time it's paid off. But it's all the same benefits. It's actually this doesn't go on record like that. You secure so, yourself a so, different way. So now, now I have to kind of call him back or try to get him on the phone to to tell him that, huh? No, he basically told you that that the deed's not going to transfer. So you can yeah. almost say to him, "Okay, I'm assuming you're uh, you're alluding to a land contract situation in 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 our state." He's kind of saying that to you right now. Okay. So he knows what he's talking about. Here's a thought, uh, Terrell. I know you're. I know you're out there busting your butt. I know you're always jumping all of our clubhouse rooms and all that. So, and it's your first deal. It's a million dollar property. The guy kind of wants everything. I would uh, sit in your shoes. I would probably just do a sign out deal. Get a nice check. Um, agree to like ten percent down. Agree to a monthly payment that you know you're okay with because in all reality you're going to sign it back to him. Take it to market. Look for someone with 20% down. Put 10% in your pocket. It's like 100K. Sign the property back to the seller. Now, I know that this isn't the long-term wealth game, but this jumpstarts your, you know, your uh, creative financing business, creative financing deals. Uh, it could be a real simple way to get involved in this space and, and collect a nice check, especially if the seller says something ridiculous on the monthly payment. Russ did exactly that. Who's on here? Yeah. I agree. I agree with that wholeheartedly, Zach, especially for your first deal. Rush, you must have a comment because you did exactly that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. The payment was going to be the five, five G range, six great G range because it was a $1.1 million home. So this, and the guy was okay with having a, being the landlord. So just assigned it back to him. We shared a portion of the deposit and we walked away. What mod is the AO, you guys, for, for five. Terrell to look? Five. Mod five in QLS uh, for the AO. Yep, you get the uh, tool at smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash QLS. Let's just jump to uh, James. I don't want to leave you hanging. He'll be the last question. James Jackson. James, you got to unmute. You got a question. Go on once. Going twice. James Jackson, got to unmute yourself. You got your hand raised. Um, all right. All right. Guess, uh, guess he lost that chance. Uh, awesome. Well, Terrell, I definitely wish, uh, I wish you the best of luck with that deal. All right. Um, James is back. Oh, James, you with us? Or is he? Oh, we're getting technical issues right now. Um, as we wrap up, take advantage of the QLS live discounted ticket. Save yourself about $180 uh, and go to QLS or smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash, forward slash live 20. Those of you that are associates, you don't have to pay anything. 
you get you get it for free. So just uh, let us know that you're coming. All right. Any other thoughts? Um, well, yeah, we got a few minutes. So what's a uh, question about QLS there, I think? Is the information in the QLS course updated? Kenny, this is huge. We don't say it enough. We update it constantly. As recent as three days ago, brand new up-to-date seller calls were added because I did a bunch and asked our team to throw them in there. So we are constantly updating the QLS course. Uh, it is a living, breathing course. It's, In fact, I hate to call it a course. You know why? All the associates and coaches you see on here they use it today still. It's a resource center. You can go through it once as a course, and then it's a resource center. Yeah. Uh, plus, you get the you get the QS Live event for free with the course. Yeah. We didn't say that. If we did, we didn't say it enough. So you go to smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash QLS. You get that event we've been ranting about for $20. You get it for free. And... Uh, Kia is asking, I think she's saying, how do you become an associate? Uh, it's an application process. Kia, all you have to do is go to smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash apply. Uh, Pete, if you wouldn't mind just throwing up these links, uh, smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash apply. Uh, and then if you're looking at the associate, the different opportunities, uh, which are, uh, there are limited spaces consistently as we want to keep this uh keep it small and tight so we can help people like Rick uh, go throughout the entire process and the deal. Uh, you go to smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash associate to see all of the different opportunities we have available. <music>